We thought it was over. We thought he had not shown up. But at the last minute, he arrived in the top left corner as the Red Protoss. It's Geralt. And in the bottom right, as the Blue Toss, it's Chance. Our third place match is a best of three. We're going to cast as much of this as possible before we have to switch over to the ESL Pro Tour. But these guys are fighting for $15 in double the OSC points. Chance dutifully waited for his opponent. We'll see if it paid off. So much PvP today. I guess that's partly due to the route we took to get here through the tournament. Geralt going for a proxy Stargate. Proxies, proxies, every game. Proxy, proxy, everywhere. Chance busts through the pylon on his wall. Gonna pick off the probe. Geralt getting out an oracle here. Two adepts going to shade forward. Here comes the Oracle. We'll follow its flight path for a moment. The Adepts make it through the wall. Chance was not able to get the block off. Stasis Ward in the mineral line is going to hurt a little bit too. Two probes with delayed mining. And uh, this is not healthy for the economy of the Blue Toss. They're all going to be ahead nine workers right now. But Geralt also hit with the supply block. He has four stalkers knocking on his door. Another pylon going to go down. Supply blocking him again. He leaves the supply block. But a nice bit of damage done here by chance. However, I think Geralt still comes out ahead here. Chance forced to back out. In the meantime, the Oracle tries to find an angle in the main. Unfortunately, uh, there is a shield battery here, so Geralt not going to find further damage.
Okay, so Chance scouts the forge. Um, that means he knows, well, he also scouts the stalkers moving at this angle with the pylon, uh, but he knows that Geralt's gonna want to take a third if he's investing in those weapons upgrades. Chance going for blink here. Stalkers move in to intercept the Oracle. They will make it pay for what it did to the blue mineral line. Uh, Chance still down six workers here. The hallucinated Phoenix sees all for the red toss. Stalkers going to start stutter stepping into the pylon. Down it goes. The Stargate will get picked off here, but you know, that's an expected loss for Geralt. It's going to be high blocked again for a couple seconds. Hey, those couple seconds add up and add up and add up. Uh, it's not as bad when you're Protoss because you're waiting for that warp in anyway, but it still hurts to see a little bit. Chance moving in with some stalkers. I think two immortals are like more than enough for a pelvis though, even with blink. Temple archives almost finished. Back at home for chance. Six gateways finishing as well. These guys sure to soon morph into an Archon. There they go. Geralt, front of boosting out plus two. He has firmly established his third here. There's no breaking it for chance. Army supplies are even. But, you know, of course, Geralt is going to have defender's advantage if chance wants to move out. Chance getting his own third. And he's still two workers behind after all of this. Plus two is going to be on the field much earlier for the red toss. Uh, but it's still a ways away. Chance. Gonna bring the stalkers home. Oh, chance is going for a move out. Upgrades are even for now, as is the army supply. However, Geralt is up and uh no. Chance can even up the Archon count as well. Geralt throwing down some static defense, getting cannons in the mineral lines. Hey, Dragon Soul, how's it going? Chance takes out the cannon, as well as nine probes. Okay, he, he's going to take the worker lead for the first time in a long time. Fourth Archon, warping in here for Geralt.
chance, decides to back off and go on the defense. Geralt's turn to go on the attack, and there's zero reason why he shouldn't. He's ahead in upgrade, he's ahead 20 army supply. Well, I guess this little charge lot run by is a reason why he shouldn't, but I mean, he still shouldn't pull the whole army back. He could split off these four zealots, and well, it's like the Archon's gonna clean it up pretty much on its own. Unless it runs away. Unless. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Sorry guys, I've been casting for like 12 hours straight, so I have a club here and there. Archons picking off a ton of zealots. Hallucinations in the front, uh, trying to tank some damage, but there is an observer here for Geralt, and he's not going to be fooled. Chances army totally melting. And the probe line's gonna begin melting as well. This third is totally forfeit. Uh, there's just too much on the ground here for Geralt. That's gonna be it for chance. Geralt. In the bottom right corner, as the red toss. Once again, it's Geralt. And in the top left, as the blue toss, it's chance. Yeah, so Dragon Soul 2016 asking in the chat. I uh, I typed in chat because it's a two minute delay, but yeah, so hallucinations uh, have fake energy. They just can't cast spells. So like for instance, you can't hallucinate a sentry and then create more hallucinations, like hallucinated hallucinations off the sentry or get a lift on a phoenix or anything. Uh, they just have the energy and it functions the same way. Um, also, if you're under Dorito Cannon. Like, their attacks are real attacks that just deal, like, zero damage. Uh, if you get hit by an anti-armor missile from a raven, like, let's say a Terran does splash damage against himself, like, he, he aims it onto a zealot, but the zealot charges into his marines, so a couple marines get splashed. Hallucinations will actually uh, deal damage to the units that are under the anti-armor missile. You can try this out for yourself in a unit tester, or if you're playing teams, or if you're just a Terran player. Uh, and you feel like throwing a game. So, like, you can hallucinate Colossi, and they actually deal significant amounts of damage to Bio and things like that. Uh, so if you're if you're a Protoss, and the Terran ever misplays, and you have Sentry Energy, just, you know, hallucinate, like, six Colossi. Geralt dropping a proxy pylon outside of the rocks. And a pylon in the wall to see what these first two units are. There are, of course, going to be double stalker on both sides. Chance hunting around for the proxy. And he will find it. It's like, hey, wait a minute. That's illegal. Geralt uh, was pushing out with his stalkers, decides to pull them back. Changes his mind, decides to put one stalker forward to uh, scout around for proxies. He's rallied all over the place. But um, not a great start for the Red Toss. Chance taking down 200 minerals basically for free right off the bat. And Chance is going to drop his own proxy pylon.
Twilight Council finishing up here for Chance. He is going to recall his stalkers for reasons unbeknownst to me. I mean, there's no Stargate play here from Gerald or anything. He's going for a forge and going for blink. So he's going to be trying to get a third here. Chance. Going to move out two adepts. Um, if they choose, well, if they shade into the mineral line, like right here outside of the range of the shield battery, uh, they can do some significant damage. They can do some significant damage anyway, as long as they target fire. Uh, even with all these stalkers and everything focusing them down, they try to play for the main. Don't get in. Chance doesn't like his odds, so he's going to cancel that shade. Chance has Blink almost finished here. Geralt pushing a little far out with the Stalkers, but plenty of time to return back home. Uh, Chance is a little bit up in the army supply. Geralt has some energy on his sentries to defend here, but he's going to have to use it very wisely. Should have a little bit earlier plus one, but it's not going to be a factor in this coming fight. Oh no, the first volley goes off on the hallucinated phoenix. Shield battery in the back, putting in some work. Geralt pushing out, and I think he's evened up the army supply enough. Blink has hit the field. But he wants to make sure he doesn't overextend. Oh, it's a little bit unfortunate. Loses a stalker, but he has held for now. Plus one, ten seconds away for Geralt as he takes his third. Chance a little bit ahead in workers. But is very likely going to have the slower second nexus. Eh, is he though? No. No, he shouldn't. He has 400 minerals. Drop the Nexus! Drop the Nexus! No, Geralt got it. Geralt can snipe the probe, which will delay the third even more. Uh, even if no more damage. Oh no, but he eats two stalkers to the volleys of chance. Two players just sniping at each other a little bit. Chance is up in the army supply, but again, Geralt has energy on his sentries a little bit, and he has an Archon in the background, so if these stalkers are grouped up, he could eat some serious splash damage. Plus two, gonna be hitting early for Geralt. Chance going for another major push. This time he has two Archons in the back, and he has Sentry Energy, as well as the Charge Lot Shield in the front. 
He's gonna wait for plus two to finish up before moving in. Oh no, Geralt's gonna get caught out here. Ooh. Blink back. Chance is gonna give chase. a huge engagement and it's one Geralt's losing chance is gonna close in here shut down the red protoss uh, there's no coming back from this for Geralt GG this chance evens up the score one to one okay in the top left corner as the red protoss it's Geralt and in the bottom right, as the blue toss, it's Chance. Score is one to one. It all comes down to this. Due to the weight Chance had, the prize pool here is going to be 15 US dollars, as well as double the OSC points they otherwise would have gotten. For some reason, there's no definite number on those OSC points from the admins, but well, I'm sure it's reasonable. Hi, Pearl. Welcome to the stream. Geralt's being really shifty with this probe. Yeah, he's gonna drop a proxy pylon. There's the second probe. He's gonna be like, nothing to see here, move along. This is a normal scout. Oh hey, you're very welcome, Dragon Soul. Guns down the probe. He's gonna move out with double stalker. As he drops a proxy gate. Now, this proxy gate is like really, really, really far away from the gnat of chance. Uh, chance isn't going to scout this anytime soon either. So it's kind of a double-edged sword here for Geralt. He's weakening his eventual stalker attack, but also keeping it out of vision of his opponent. This is a great start here for Chance. Gunned down several stalkers in that engagement. Those were decent force fields. And Geralt is gonna drop a second uh is gonna drop a Twilight Council. His second Nexus is finishing up here. But you know, it's disappointing. Ch uh Geralt wants to get in on Chance's economy, deal some damage, and he just doesn't have the army supply to do so, and he left these stalkers sitting outside his opponent's base, so he's going to take some punishment for that. 
chance with a firm army supply lead, but Geralt going to shade into the mineral line and get at least three probe kills. At least. Look at that. Three probe kills. Holy crap. Thank you so much for the gift subs, Pearl. I really appreciate it. Pearlescent giving out five community gift subs. Really, really, really appreciate it. But in the meantime, beautiful force fields going down here for chance. Gonna cut off some of the units of Geralt. Geralt, of course, zoning out the blue toss, but uh, taking further damage. And while the economies are even, Chance, I think, for now at least, has an insurmountable army supply lead, and that's about to get worse. Nice work, Prism Micro here for Chance. He's gonna throw down a Twilight Council. Now, Geralt's saving grace here is, even though he's behind an army supply, he has this blink tech about to finish. Wait. Oh no. Chance threw down two Twilights. I, uh, that could actually be intentional. It could be like a high IQ charge and blink play, but it's probably not. Okay, there's Glaives on the first Twilight. Ah, uh, blink forward takes down the Warp Prism. That means that the Immortal's abandoned. It's gonna get shut down. One Stalker goes down, the second Stalker goes down, and just like that, Chance's army supply lead is totally evaporated. A huge misplay there from Chance. This, um, the shield battery making a mockery out of the adepts. They're gonna get killed by a zealot. But in the meantime, Geralt pokes at the front of chance. Resonating Glaives finishing up for Chance, and this game just keeps going back and forth, man. These two are so even. Chance has the lead for now, but... I mean, there's every potential for Geralt to pull it back once again. Not if he loses all these stalkers, but he will blink out of there. This is a massive shade forward from Chance. The Resonating Glaives are going to do a ton of work uh, on degrading these shield batteries. They actually focus on the cannon. I don't know if that's the correct choice here. But nonetheless, it's the choice Chance has made. And it's going to be enough. The Stalker's totally melting away here for Geralt. Uh, he has a flanking maneuver coming in from the back. It's going to take down the sentry and the rear two stalkers. The two immortals still holding strong shields. Oh, wait, no, no, they aren't. No, Geralt blinks up the ramp. He focuses down the immortals. Oh, my God, this game is so back and forth. 
Geralt's gonna hold! Wow! Just actually wow! A great flanking maneuver there from Geralt. Chance sneaking around some more Glaive Adepts, but five of them just kind of derping out at the rocks. I don't think they're meant to do that. An absolute slugfest here in game number three. Both players lacking a third. Uh, the mineral patches are going to begin dwindling here in the main. Oh, Chance with a huge shade into the base of Geralt. Geralt holding on with an Archon, but they shade into the main. Uh, shield battery holds on to the probes long enough, so only five probes for all those adepts. Geralt poking at the front, but Chance holding once again. A nice surround on those adepts from Geralt. I'm gonna clean them up. Geralt climbing 60 army supply to 48. Uh, the worker count relatively even. Both players getting their third up. Uh, Geralt gonna have his a little bit quicker. chance with disruptors on the field going to make things a little bit of a coin flip for Geralt. Geralt getting his own robo bay behind this. A huge charge lot warping in the main. Uh, going at Twilight Council's plural. That disruptor shot did not go in as planned. Chance struggling to defend here a little bit. He is going to recall his army should be able to handle this quite easily, especially with the shield batteries here to help. Uh, both Twilight Councils actually did go down to this drop, but again, things are still so even. Geralt takes the shields off the third. Disruptor zones the stalkers out a little bit. No, Geralt gets a snipe on the third. Okay, things have stopped being even once again. Geralt, once again, turning things in his favor. He should not get run down here. He's going to blink out. And yeah, chances. Mineral patches are all dwindling. The gnat will hold for some time, but you can see just how beleaguered these are. Uh, literally a couple of seconds, two mineral patches are going to disappear entirely. In the meantime, Geralt, though, this is a couple stalkers. GG is called, and Geralt takes the series two to one. He's going to win himself double the OSC points he 